hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to install windows server 2022 on virtualbox now this is really easy as long as you follow these steps for those that don't know virtualbox virtualbox is a tool that allows you to run multiple virtual operating systems on your host computer so you can see i'm running pop os i can run windows 10 windows 11 linux kali linux or any other operating system on my virtualbox so we are going to run windows server on our virtualbox now the first thing we have to do is download and install virtualbox and to do that, head to your Google Chrome browser and then search for VirtualBox. Now the first page you can see over here, Oracle VM VirtualBox, click on it. And then by the left, you will see Downloads over here, so click on Downloads. Now once you click on Downloads, you are going to see VirtualBox for different operating systems. So we are using a Windows machine, so click on Windows Host and it will start downloading. Now we don't really need this since I already have it installed so I will cancel that. Now the installation process is really easy, you just have to install just like every other software. Now if you find it difficult to install, kindly check the link in the description of this video. I made a video earlier on how to install VirtualBox. Now we also have to download Windows Server Image File. And to do that, search for Windows Server 2022 ISO. Now open the link in the video description and it will take you to this page where you can select the Windows Server you want to download. Now you can see for English, United States and that is what we need. So we are going to go with the ISO download so click on that and it will start downloading. Now this file is about 4.7 gig so you can use an internet download manager if your network is not that stable just like mine. I already have this downloaded so I don't need to do that. So now I can close my Chrome browser and this is my Windows Server file you can see over here 4.9 gig and I can start the installation. Now I have to open my virtual box and then click on new to create a new virtual machine. So let's call this Windows Server. Set the type to Microsoft Windows just like this and then set the version to other Windows 64 bits. Next. Now select the amount of RAM you want to allocate to this machine. So let's give this 4 gig of RAM. Next, select create a virtual hard disk now and then create VDI. Next, dynamically allocated. Next, select the maximum amount of storage you want to allocate to this machine. So let's give this 74 gig. I think this should be okay. And then create. Now you can see the details of our newly created machine. Now we have to make few changes by clicking on settings and then go to system. This is the RAM which you can change whenever you want. Go to processor section and then increase the number of CPU core you want to allocate to this machine. Now you can see the range where we can allocate up to 4 and then from anything 5 to 8 is not recommended. So let's go with 3 and then go to display and then increase the video memory to 128 megabytes. OK. Now we can start our machine and then import the ISO file, so click on start. Now click on this file icon by the side and then click on add. Now select our Windows Server, the file we downloaded and then click on open. Choose. So once we click on start, it would begin the installation process, so let's click on start. Select the language, time, keyboard and every other thing. Next, click on install now. So it has started the installation process. Now you can select the version of Windows Server you want. So I'm going with Windows Server 2022 Data Center Evolution Desktop Experience. And then click on next. Accept the terms over here. Next. Now we are going with custom installation. So click on custom. Now this is a drive, you can see the space and every other thing, so let's click on next and it would begin the installation. Now this may take some time, so you just have to wait patiently. Now it will restart in 2 seconds and we will be ready to start. Now we have to enter the details of our machine, so let's set a password, confirm password and then click on finish okay so the password is actually not good enough so let's change the password i think this should be okay 
finish okay now you can see we've successfully installed windows server 2022 on our virtual machine now you can see on your screen to unlock this press ctrl alt delete now this will be an issue for a lot of people because if you hold ctrl alt delete it would open ctrl alt delete on your main host computer so hold ctrl delete now type in your password hit enter so you can see we've successfully installed windows server on our windows 11 pc using virtualbox now this is really easy and shouldn't take you much time if this was helpful kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification thank you for watching and i will see you on the next one